What's going on fellow game developers? My name is Money Wolf and today I'm going to show you how you can implement 3D audio into your 3D scenes. I'm also going to show you how you can just use standard audio such as audio you can hear from anywhere using background uh, like for background music essentially and also this will work in any 3D environment so in Godot so if you're building XR, AR, whatever you're building this will work from it which is pretty cool. Um, I do recommend you use earphones for this or some sort of 3D audio tool because it will sound better. Um, obviously, you can play it from your desktop and you will still get the left and right if that's supported on your speakers, whatever it's playing from. But let's just get into it. So I have a 3D scene here. And as you can see, we have a uh, player. Let's just, just hit play. Uh, and as you can see, I can run around in this little scene here. You've got a box. Now, there's our music box. This will play as our music. And this is our trigger box, which we'll look into later. I'm going to show you how you can actually walk into a trigger zone to trigger audio from script. So let's say you had a gun and you were shooting your script or shooting your script, shooting bullets. I could, this will work similar to that. The script will be the same. Essentially, you just where for the trigger is. This is just going to use an area trigger, but you can trigger Trigger it from anything such as a click or whatever. So, so yeah, that's what we're gonna add into this. So let's let's start off with just simple background music. So how do you add background music to your game? Audio that doesn't use 3D, so you can't turn and hear it in different ways. That will be essentially in our main game here. I'm just gonna press Control A, um, and what you want is audio. And you can see here, there's a few different audio things here. Now you've got 2D, obviously this is for 2D. You can do a similar thing in 2D. However, what we want is the audio stream player. Now this plays back audio non-positionally, meaning it doesn't matter where you are, you will always hear the audio in the exact same way. So let's add this to our scene. Now this doesn't need to be placed anywhere, like you, there's no 3D controls, as you can see, there's no movement or anything. It just sits in the world. Now, to actually get this to work, you can see up here we have a stream. Now, this can be your music. Now, as you can see on the left here, um, you can see I have two different audio files, one WAV and one MP3. That does not matter. You can use E for all. Um, the, the, I just, these are just the formats I've got the audio in, honestly. Uh, but yeah, we're going to have this clicking song. It's made by one of my friends. It's a really good music. I'll link him down below. Um, and it's the clicking. So I'm just going to drag this in here. And if I hit play, this is going to be really loud because this audio is quite loud in general. You can click on here and you can see all the different things, bars, beats, loop, um, which is price tag you want to click on. So let's actually go here, select the import settings, and you can actually turn on loop here. So it will always loop and hit re-import. So now this music will be looping. Now, what we want to do is hit auto play here. So this means it will play straight away. It doesn't need to be triggered or anything like that. However, you can trigger this as well. Uh, the next thing we want to do is turn down the audio layer. I'm going to put minus 20 because this is quite a loud song and hit play. Now, hopefully, we should be hearing audio. However, I can see that you are not hearing audio. So let's have a look at our properties. What's going on? Yeah, I thought so. Default. Okay. Let's try that one more time. Let's hit play. And there you go. You should be hearing left. Oh, not left and right. Audio. Audio in the background. I can just run around and nothing will change. The audio will be the exact same. There's our background music. And we can just run around like this. And that, that's as simple as the audio stream player gets. You can add in whatever you want. So if you have a voiceover, so you want to trigger a voiceover, you can turn off auto play and essentially just uh, call dot play on this audio stream, which I'll show you again in the trigger. Um, essentially um, from a script. So if you if you need to walk into a room and some na narrator goes in and is like, hey, how are you doing? Uh, then you can do that. It's up to you. You do what you can do that. But they, this is what this audio player does. Now, the next thing we would do is we're going to go in our audio box here and we are going to add a audio stream player 3D. Now, this will play audio from a specific position. So if it's over in the far right side of your is or the way you're looking then you will hear it in the right side if it's over on the left you'll hear it on the left side and so forth um now i'm just also going to explain the audio listener actually is where you're hearing from so for example if you don't want the player to hear audio directly from the 
So, for, for example, if you're making a third-person game, so you can see the character in front of you, you're going to want to hear the audio from where the character is, not where the camera is. So you would use this. However, audio is heard from where the camera is by default. So that's why you would use this one. All you do is drop it in the scene where you want to hear from, so such as the player if you're doing a third person. I just thought I'd mention that just so you knew. Anyway, let's add the audio stream player to our scene. And now this is a similar thing. We're going to add the music to this as well for now. Uh, we are going to minus 20 again, just because it will be loud. And then I'm going to hit auto play. And now if we hit play, you're going to hear it on different sides. So here you can hear it on the left. This is on the right, and I know this is working because my audio bars are different on the actual uh, stream play OBS there. And you can see if I run around this, you can hear it essentially on the left, on the right, and as I turn, you can hear it from different positions, which is essentially like a music bar. The further away I get, the quieter it gets. Closer I get, the louder it gets. And you can mess around with these things. So on the right here, you can see you have like pitch and all that. That's fine. But you see you have max distance, which is actually how loud it is from where you are. You also have some different audio models, essentially how it decides if audio should get quieter with distance linearly, quadratically, or logarithmic lo lo word. Um, basically, if you use the logarithmic, it should get quieter a lot quicker. So this is really loud. And then this is a lot more quiet. Um, whereas linearly will be, if you just use the default, it should linearly slowly get more loud further away you go, essentially. So it's essentially just simple audio. So it'll, the further away you get, the more loud it, yeah, the quieter it gets, essentially. That's, that's how it works. You can also use max distance. So let's just set this to something like five. So you can see the bubble now. You will only be able to hear this audio. Let's, let's make that a little bigger, 10. Uh, you will only be able to hear this audio when inside this bubble. So let's just hit play. Let's come out. You cannot hear the music. But when you enter this bubble, you can now hear the music. When you leave, it will fade out. It won't just stop because that would be a bit abrupt. But you can hear it just stops. So you step out. There you go. Now we're out. And it just fades instantly out. And there you go. You can see that. That's pretty good. And it's really useful if you've got like a specific room you want to hear audio in, stuff like that. That is also a good use case for this. But let's just turn this off. That's fine. Um, and yeah, that's essentially just the default of having audio. But now how do you trigger this? So let's say you have a gun and you want to hear a gunshot or something like that. Well, essentially, I'm going to show you how. So on our trigger box over here, um, we are going to just say uh, create a new script. We're going to call this audio trigger. Uh, create and we're going to have a few different things. Now in here, we're going to have an export for our uh, audio stream, which will be audio stream, I think. This might be wrong. Um, or this is actually should be called audio stream player 3D, potentially. Um, oh, and this should say far. Don't forget your far. Um, and that should fix. And then if we actually click back on this, you should see it there. And we should be able to drag this into our scene. We can. Perfect. So that will give reference to the audio player we want to play from. Now, we want our trigger box signal. So you see we have signals here. We want when a body enters it. So let's just connect. OK, so on enter, we want to select the trigger box and click on body enter connect. So when something enters this area, it will then call our audio stream dot play. And this will play the audio, which is a part of this. So now in our audio, I'm going to swap the music to actually be an explosion. Um, just so you can hear an explosion. I'm just going to set it to zero and have no max distance. Turn off auto play because we don't need it. We want it to be triggered. And this is essentially how you trigger it. You get the audio stream player or you can, <clears throat> you can get a stream specifically and play it. Um, but here we just want to call audio stream dot play. So now you can see when I enter this area, it calls the explosion sound and it's also 3D. So you can hear it from whichever ear um, 
where you're facing. Go back to our 3D scene here, go to our audio player, and I'm actually going to change this to log logarithmic. I'm going to butcher that name every time. Um, now, we're actually hearing an automatic explosion when we start because this box is getting triggered by this collision shape here, I believe. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this up. Oh, so I'm going to bring the whole trigger box just up slightly, and that should stop the audio there you, go. you can see it's not happening now obviously you can set in a group to check if it's a certain group so if it's the player group then call the trigger uh but there you go so you can see here that audio sounds a lot better with logarithmic for such as explosions because it fades off a lot quicker now we can move this box all the way around so let's pull it to over here quite a lot closer and now if we walk into it facing this way you'll hear it's very close on our left and if I do the same with this way, you'll see it's on our right. Um, obviously, if you ain't got 3D audio going on at home, I'm going to be talking nonsense to you, so I apologize. So you can see, that's how you can call and trigger it inside of here. You could also do the same with the audio stream player down here. All you would do is go to your audio, oh, so your trigger box, and change this to audio stream player. Hit save go back to the trigger box and assign the audio stream player instead. Then back on this audio stream player, what we want to do is make sure no audio plays on. And then when we enter this, it should just play our music. And there you go. The music will then start playing from this point. You can also call on exit. So if we go to our trigger box and go to node, Oh, select our trigger box there and go body exit connect and connect it to our trigger box so now with this one you want to actually go audio stream dot stream pause and set this to true now because we started to play it this will essentially play the audio however you can't necessarily there's no stop function so what you do is call the stream pause and this should say when we enter and leave it should start and play so you can see it starts and when we leave the audio stops so if you want audio to only play in one area you could do that you could also do it with a 3d audio so when you enter a room the 3d audio plays it's the same thing we just change this back to a 3d um let's go back to our 3d world now select this change this to be the music you can pull it back to normal. I'm going to set it to minus 20 on the audio decibels. And there you go. You can do the same thing. So back in our trigger box, we'll want to drag in this audio stream. Hit play. And as we enter the trigger, then when we leave, it will stop that 3D audio. You can hear that happening there. And there's a few other tricks you can do with this. Sorry, I've, I'm dragging out some of these features, but I want to show you all the different features. So on the right here of the 3d player you can see the emission angle so if you turn this on you can see that this should play from a specific angle so you can see that red dot showing the angle it's going to play from and it goes to about 90 degrees here so it's actually going to play from behind this because i assume i've actually put this box facing the wrong way uh, you can actually see this is forward and then this would be to the right side so if we was to put this on forward at zero degrees and then rotate this whole or the whole audio box to be fair because i've actually this way and we go back to the audio player you'll see this dot is going to be playing from the front so what i'm going to do is just move this a bit closer this way click on the audio and make sure auto play is on for now and then what we're going to do is hit play and you're going to hear that audio right here. But if we come from behind it, it's going to be a bit more muffled. As you can see here, we're now within the angle of the audio playing. I've actually downed the um, decibels on the right because it's uh, essentially because the it's already minus 20. You want it a bit more for now. And as we go behind this, you can sound the audio sounds like it's coming from a speaker. When you're behind a speaker, you get this sort of muffled audio. And when you come back into view, you can see it goes back to being the normal audio. Now, there's a bunch more things we can discuss about audio and how to do different effects, such as uh, like noise distortion and stuff like that, depending on where you go and places you're entering. Uh, you can also play it from a different audio channel, a different bus. 
Um, and there's a bunch of different things and a bunch of different settings we can all mess around with to try different things. Uh, so if you want to see more on audio, a more advanced audio tutorial, then please let me know and I will do that video. But for now, guys, thank you for watching this tutorial and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.